Good morning, friends. And yesterday I talked to you about the death of someone who has been a great hero of mine, elderly pastor, 96 years of age, Pastor Meng in northwest China. Reopened a church uh, in 1983 with 30 old people, and when he died just a few weeks ago, the church had 14,000 believers. I think of another elderly person whom the Lord used to write uh, much of Scripture for us, the Gospel of John and uh, also the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, John perhaps uh, is around 90-some years of age. He is a prisoner on a, exiled on an island called Patmos, some 40, 50 miles off the coast of what is present-day Turkey. And as he brings the book of Revelation to a conclusion, he talks in the last two chapters, chapters 21 and 22, about the new heaven and the new earth. And he says to us some things that are no more. He says, for example, there's no more sea, S-E-A. There's no more crying, no more mourning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, no more pain. And in Revelation 22, he talks about there being no more curse and no more night. And he also says that there is no more death. Of the seven things that I've just mentioned, the most intriguing to me is the, the first no more that John begins with, no more C, S-E-A. That's surprising to me because that is certainly not the first thing that would be on my tick list of things that I would want to be no more. But when we remember that John is a prisoner and that he is isolated from his friends and family and beloved fellow Christians who are some 50 miles away in the city of Ephesus, we understand why the obliteration of the sea is so important because the sea represents that uh, immovable and impenetrable barrier of separation. One uh, outstanding theologian said that uh, as human beings we have four basic problems, ecological, psychological, sociological, and theological. The ecological problem is we are separated from our environment, so we have trouble with nature and controlling the environment. The psychological is that we are often separated within ourselves so that we don't even know our true heart and we don't understand our actions. The sociological is that we are often separated from one another, whether it's in family or by race or by ethnicity or by prejudice. And the theological is that we are separated from God. But Jesus Christ has come to end the separation between us and God, and he's come also to help us end the separation sociologically and psychologically so that we're no longer separated from others. We know how to live with others with joy, and we know how to live with ourselves. And the day is coming when even the ecological problems will be resolved as well, and the lion will lay down with the lamb. So John looks into the expanse of eternity and celebrates the day when there is no more sea, no more separation. As believers in Jesus Christ, we are foremost of all people of hope. I trust that today that hope lives in you.